Welcome to the Gospel of Luke this morning. We're at verse 23 to 30 in the chapter 13. Let's read it. Then one said to him, Lord, are there few who are saved? And he said to them, Strive to enter in through the narrow gate, for many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us, open for us, and he will answer and say to you, I do not know you where you are from. Then you will begin to say, We ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know you where you are from. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and yourselves thrust out. They will come from the east and the west and from the north and the south and sit down in the kingdom of God. And indeed, there are last who will be first and there are first who will be last. And Jesus is giving some pretty intense warnings here, isn't he? Be careful that you're in the kingdom. You know, you're assuming you're going to be in the kingdom. You're just assuming that because you're, because you're what? You're, you have Jewish DNA, you're going to be in the kingdom. And Jesus says, don't be assuming that. It's your heart. It's your heart. And so, look, there's the warning. Some people think it's easy to be saved. But Jesus tells us what? Strive. Strive to enter in through which gate? The, the big wide one? Now, that's not hard. You don't have to strive to go through the wide gate. Strive to enter in through the narrow gate, the straightened way. Strive to go in that way. It's going to cost you something to be a Christian. If you think you're going to be a Christian and get it at a discount, no, no, just, just you're in the wrong, you're on, you're on the wrong plan. Strive to enter in the narrow gate, Jesus warns. Many, he says, many will seek to enter. A lot of people are going to try to be saved. They're going to try to be in the kingdom. They're going to try to have all the benefits that, that God is pleased to hand out to them. But they're not going to be able. Why won't they be able? Look again at what was said. They, the master is going to shut the door. There's coming a time when the opportunity to be changed is going to end. You will not have time to be transformed. And so Jesus is warning us now, now's the time, now's the day, now's the hour of salvation, now's the time to turn to him. You know you should, you know you should, and so turn and follow and see what Jesus will do for you. Don't wait until it's too late and the door is closed. And people think, oh, well, no, they'll, they'll never close the door. There will always be kind of a last minute option for me. Uh, Jesus is telling us right here, there will not always be a last minute option. So come to Jesus now. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, there's a reason for this strong appeal. Many of us think we have more time than we do, and yet our life may, may end in the next 12 hours. I remember different times I preached a sermon. It was the last sermon that person ever heard. And we just don't know when that's going to happen necessarily. So Lord, help us. Help us to take advantage of the opportunities you give us uh, because you love us. And that's why you're opening the door and keeping it open just a little bit longer. But Lord, we want to be transformed. Help us. Thank you for hearing our prayer. And so we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord's blessings be upon you today.